wants to silence the crowd and bring both belts back to life. His talent is indeed equal to the mega popularity that he's achieved in his young career. The sea of humanity here at the Alamo Dome erupting. Miguel Cotto in his last fight. This is his 150 seconds. To maintain distance and maintain control with the jab, he'll be able to do it. And Austin Trout coming forward. Well, again, it comes down so to the hands. It's Canelo. He's got to come forward. And that's what Trout wants. Yeah, he changed the dynamic. Canelo said he wants to not just... Set count. up a liver liquefying left hook. And there's a lead left hook as he swarms Trout along the ropes. Cole Cullen. At least, Trout is controlling the real estate in this fight. Again, as he did against Cotto. Under the first round, Canelo coming off a fifth round TKO win against Jose Cito Lopez. Last of the bell. Round two underway and immediately... Trout delivers three consignments. The first round, Canelo got to Trout at about this distance. He felt, felt like he was almost there, and then he just Canelo couldn't. Flashes the jab, doubles up the jab. There is a bigger difference in experience than some might think between these two combatants. Canelo has faced five. But Trout took the punch well. Yeah, Canelo was starting to, to see bullying his opponents in the past, especially the smaller. He, he was starting to see Canelo, Trout co consistently slip the jab to his own left. Check out the the distance and another look at it pulled the head down of Austin Trout uh, and was the bell in round three of this schedule 12 round of Austin Trout in these recent fights again there's a nice one two that catches Canelo Canelo lunging in swarming Trout right now, back in stalk, stalking position there's a one two cut. straight right hand from Canelo the ball, the ball the ball slow down the fleet footed Trout you see, a lot of times they're straight shot, they're cross. Canelo's right cross, and Trout's watches and again pivots away from the ropes, looking to establish control in the center of the ring as he unloads. Good, good point. Good. Hey. The Trout pops Canelo's head back with the jab. Now Canelo and Canelo lunging forward, not. Gauging the distance and Trout tagging him. Canelo lands the jab to his cheek. High guard on the right side and there he blocks that. Straight left from. Just a 94 for Alvarez. And you know, uh, Alvarez is landing well, but jab and then the straight right to the sternum. 15 seconds left in the rounds. Oh, a nice jab. Canelo Alvarez was able to land that solid jab and it, against the left-hander when you're right. Except for Steve Farwood, who has the fight a draw. Both Paulie and I uh, have a slip. So as effectively as it was earlier. Canelo using some head movement, weaving, trying to avoid Trout's jab and comes back with a right of the fight. After the fourth round and after the thing, Trout started this fight trying to be the boss with the jab, but these last couple... Good head movement. Good head movement by Canelo. Counter shot. You need to make yes. Canelo think twice about being so aggressive. A solid Ooh. counter shot. Lands the straight left to the sternum. A lot of the punches that Austin Trout's throwing, and we talk about the fact that even though Canelo has had some defensive liabilities, there's there. He was able to use that cuffing right hand to push Canelo Alvarez away, and then that score was the same as ours. Two, two, up. Sticks the jab. Trout goes to the bottom. Lead left hook connects by Canelo. Trout's got to be careful. Uppercut by Canelo. Counter right by Trout. Trout now going to the upper. Canelo misses wildly with the right up. Remaining in the sixth round here at the Alamo Dome. Trout ducks underneath that right. And, and the head movement stopped. The left hook to the body. Oh, straight shots, Trout's throwing. Although it's a nice. good counter from him. Counter from counter. Him. Keeping his hands very low. You know, Al, you made a point with those body shots Trout yeah, throwing. Canelo doing a good job. We've reached the midpoint as a nice right uppercut by Canelo. The midpoint of the fight. You take a look at Canelo with his hands low. Stationary, as Paulie said. Some are not getting there, but Trout was controlling the action. We see a good exchange from these two fighters. That was a little earlier in the round where Canelo landed the right and the uppercut. This is often the case when you have a conventional oh. fighter. And good there shot. is Canelo dropping Trout with a So scintillating action here.
Sucks, though. I was saying that when you have a orthodox fighting single, it makes them look a little awkward, but right now they are just looking for the home run. Just like it's the middle of the round. Trout came out to a lazy jab. Alvarez is landing some big shots. He is finding a home for that overhand right. Another right hand connects. Done better than Canelo since he's been hurt. Canelo rips a right hand to the body. Trout comes back. Wants to circle away from the right. There's Trout with a knife. Because we know Trout can be hurt, even in the rounds in which he does well now. Hits him with the jab, misses with the left, and Canelo was looking for the counter right. By the way this round started, did you think it would end with Trout? Well, he was hurt badly early in the round, sent down as you see there. But Austin Trout came back to probably win his career. A, a jab that set the stage for the right hand. Was Austin Trout hurt? Yeah, you bet. And that was very... Canelo got kind of tired toward the end of that last it's round. title so. against Zap Judo from the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Maybe. We are in Texas. You never know how the judges here will see things. Just ask Pauli Malinacci. <laughs> well, and Trout now has Canelo on the ropes. And Trout lands a straight left. Some of these rounds can go either way. And, and now, Jimmy. Yes, good point. Explains that they believe... Alvarez is tired, and this is the kind of some of the evidence of that. S languishing on the road over bouts in the past has and let again. them fight. Good run. And there's a nice straight left from Trout as the action picks up here in the night. Canelo told us that patience was together. Warrior good, punches. It's a good fight. Great. And is Trout landing enough punches solidly? The uppercut very effectively against Cotto. Didn't expect to see too much in this fight, but he's landed it. We're now going to see whether Austin Trout can pick up the pace. And here's the point. It makes Trout fight a total. And he is more aggressive. But it is true also. At least he knows where he stands. Normally he wouldn't. So this is an interesting... And he forces him to go into the teeth of the line, so to speak, because Canelo is the punch thing. 64. And Canelo just landed another overhand right and resets. There's a one-two combination by the south pot. He gets jacked to the jaw again by the... He aggressive, but he added a couple of extra punches to that combination. But Trout has really controlled for the most part. Canelo done with the showboating for a moment again. The nation bout for the 154 pound titles. Neither man has and at lost. At the end of the day, that's all that really matters. The uh, three judge and thereby Canelo connects. Wants to double up this year. And oh for Canelo Alvarez. It's a nice one two combo. They mentioned in Canelo's corner to get aggressive. These are the champions. Right, Left uppercut to the body. There's a right uppercut to the torso by Canelo. Catches Trout. We are headed to the 12th and final round here in Texas. Title unification fight on Showtime. Austin Trout was buckled by another one of those uppercuts. Now Trout. With Jim Gray, who had the scores read to him by the corner of Austin Trout. That they read it directly from the information. Remaining in the fight. With an overhand right. Just past the minute mark of this final round. Right hand predicted. We are on our way. 12 around distance fight. We're going to the judges' scorecards here in Texas. This is when Austin Trout went down from a straight right hand. This happened really only sold himself to start the round. I know this guy's going to come out jabbing. I'm going to plant myself and throw a counter right. And the round seconds, and you look at it, and you will see again the right hand. It was kind of before. Saul Canelo.